guys, uh, this is Rapia and today I created this look. I, what I every day do for my makeup, I probably change up looks to, depending on the weather. Today is a little bit colder, so I went with the orange because I want to bring some color to my life. Um, but that's all. I messed out a little lipstick up here. But stay tuned for watch this whole tutorial and I'll shall talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hello guys. Oh. I'm just gonna start off with my everyday makeup routine, what I do, and I drop my cap. Here I'm using my Griftobian palette and I'm just applying it with the Max Stippling brush all over my face. It's a really good coverage, full coverage foundation, which I love about it. And I'm just gonna, sorry if you hear a super loud noise, my heat just went on. So I just apply it all over my face, and after that, I'm gonna take this Wet Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna ap apply it all over my face, like dab it around just to absorb the excess foundation I have on. So I don't have a cake face going on later on the day. Okay, so I'm just taking uh, my Mac Studio Finish Foundation, powder foundation, and uh, I'm just applying it right under my eyes. So any any makeup doesn't crease right under my eyes. Um, I just didn't apply any concealer or anything like that. So this is a good way. And after that, I just take my powder brush and taking the same Max Studio Fix foundation and applying it all over my face to give me a nice matte look. Uh, I really love those foundations. It's a full coverage foundation and uh, you really don't need anything. Either you can wear it separately or you can wear it um, above um, your foundation. So after that, I take um, my NYX contour palette and apply it powder contour. It's a NYX highlight and contour palette and apply the powder contour all over on my cheeks and bring it up to the temples of my forehead. Um, create a C. Just blending it all over just so we don't have any harsh lines. I really didn't want to mess with the liquid. <laughs> so after that, I took uh, eyeshadow base. Um, um, this time I'm using NYX um, beige color eyeshadow base. I usually apply it with fingers and with a brush. This time I'm using a brush just to being extra fancy. You can say that. I don't know, I'm, try I'm trying to talk and I think I'm losing my voice. So after that, I'm going to take uh, my uh, MAC brush and I'm using uh, Morphe's eyeshadow palette. I forgot the name for that. Um, I'm using a uh, matte brown color. It's, um, I'm just applying it from the outer corner, bring it to the inner corner. After that, I took a little bit lighter color. Any beige color could work for this. So I just apply it from the inner corners toward the out to just like bring it all the way to the middle of the eyelid. Almost the middle of the eyelid. After that I took a highlighter and applied the inner corner of my eyes. Here I'm applying the blush which I really can't see but I applied a very tiny bit because I was afraid the blush gonna look too much. Just applied a little bit just to give a little bit of color to my cheeks, not a lot. Because it's a very colorful blush. So what I'm doing is I'm just blending all of my blush really well. So I just don't have a super harsh looking blush on my face. So after that I applied a little bit on my nose just to, I just like it. Give it a little bit of color. So after that, I'm just searching for my highlighter that I was going to apply on my nose and cheeks. 
I'm still using the NYX palette, the highlight and contour palette, so I applied it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose a little bit and I bring it up all the way to my cheekbones. Just to give the illusion that I have a higher cheeks. So I hope you guys like it and please subscribe and comment on my channel. And really sorry I didn't get to film applying the mascara and um, eyeliner and lipstick. I don't know how I just didn't do it. So I will add a picture at the end just to give you an idea how the makeup look. Please subscribe to my channel and I love you guys. See you guys very soon. Bye-bye.